guys, Martin here, just out in the paddock. Um, I've just been out, I've just done a wrap round, had a look at the pigs. I've just come for a look at the cows and here we go. I just absolutely love this every time I stable across it. Another one, fresh out of the ground. Mum's just gotten up, started to give him a lick. Uh, calf, yeah the calf's alive, the calf's moving anyway, I'll flick it round. There we go, look at that. Brand new calf just down in there. Mum's there, just hooking it in, licking that mucus off. Just um, pacing it as a mum straight out the bat. Which is good, good. Another, another nice, lovely little calf. Anyway, I'm going to keep going on with the rest of my checks. So here's a question for you guys. Something we started doing here was a bit of cell grazing. So this whole paddock's busted up into... Uh, I think about five little paddocks with single hot wires and uh, my talking has clearly scared them off but basically how do you guys at Cell Grays manage carving? Um, because I don't want to cut off the mums from their stash calves now given it's a little paddock like this they might just bellow and call them for a while and eventually they'll come through but I don't really want to take that chance I've just sort of been progressively opening gates and just leaving gates open uh, so they've got access pretty well to the whole paddock eventually. But yeah, basically just a bit of a question for you guys. If you're doing that, do you just put them in a big paddock uh, until they're all carved out and you know they're at a stage where they're no longer stashing calves or do you have a better way of managing it? Anyway, um, yeah, let me know. So this is that basic cell grazing setup here just at the boys you can see troughs obviously behind those cows um pretty basic setup just single hot wire cheap and easy to do and for the most part it's worked pretty well it's only now that i'm a bit stumped as to how i keep the mob together and don't leave little calves behind um because i have seen a couple stashed today so we don't want to leave them out but other than that, I think things are going pretty well at the moment. Uh, as far as I know, I haven't lost a cow or calf. It is very hard to keep count with the calves now. Um, given they're, you know, stashed here, there and everywhere or just standing in long grass behind mum and I can't see them. But um, yeah, so far things are looking good. The girls are for the most part looking We'll get some lick blocks out here soon and um, yeah, uh, put them there with them, but um, I can't really complain. So far, as I said, as far as I know, not one lost. I've not seen a dead cow anywhere um, and I haven't, uh, yeah, found a dead calf either. So, I mean, not saying there's not a dead calf out there, but I haven't seen a cow, so that's a... Um, that's a good start. It's always good to have heifers that carve easy. And we got pretty lucky. They've just sort of, um, uh, yeah, they just basically ended up uh, being the best ones out of trade heifers that we had. And then we bought that bull there in the middle. Uh, so he's in with them basically because this paddock's got the best fences on the place. And uh, when we bought him, we knew he had a habit of going walk about he'd um visited a couple of neighbors and uh yeah helped them out with their siring free of charge good handy fella he is um so basically this this paddock had the best feed in it we wanted the best feed uh for the carving mums and um also had him in it and i wasn't prepared to go take him to the other pasture paddock where one of the fences isn't so great so um Anyway, that's uh, that's why he's here and in with him. So next year's carving is going to be a incredibly drawn out affair. But um, I don't anticipate there being any problems given how good this year's was. Anyway, I've got to go take a tractor to town. So uh, until next time, keep at it.